North Korea's missile program began with short-range Scud missiles in the 1980s, capable of hitting targets within the Korean peninsula. By the 2010s, they developed intermediate-range missiles like the Musudan, reaching up to 3,000 kilometers. Their current Hwasong-17 ICBM, tested in 2022, boasts a theoretical range of 15,000 kilometers, enough to strike the U.S. mainland. But does theoretical range translate to real-world capability? To deliver a nuclear warhead to the U.S., North Korea must master three critical technologies. Re-entry vehicles that survive atmospheric friction at Mach 20, precision guidance systems accurate within 100 meters, and miniaturized warheads under 1,000 kilograms. While their 2017 Hwasong-15 test demonstrated partial re-entry capability, U.S. intelligence suggests their guidance systems still rely on outdated inertial navigation with circular errors over 10 kilometers. The U.S. employs layered defense systems. THAAD intercepts missiles in terminal phase, altitude 40, 150 kilometers, while GMD targets ICBMs mid-course in space. Computer simulations show a 53% success rate against single warheads, but this drops below 20% if North Korea deploys MIRVs, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. A 2023 CSIS war game suggested at least one nuclear warhead could penetrate defenses in a salvo attack. MIT physicist Dr. Theodore Postol argues North Korea's missiles lack proven re-entry shielding, with 70% failure probability based on plasma burn patterns. Conversely, RAND Corporation's Bruce Bennett emphasizes psychological deterrence. Even a 30% success chance compels U.S. strategic calculations. Satellite imagery shows continued activity at North Korea's Sinpo South Shipyard, suggesting submarine-launched ballistic missiles could circumvent land-based defenses entirely. The answer lies in probability, not binary possibility. Current assessments suggest, one, North Korea likely can deliver a single warhead to the U.S. West Coast with 40 to 60 percent reliability. Two, U.S. defenses might intercept it 50 to 70 percent of the time creating an 18 to 42 percent penetration probability per missile. This mathematical reality, not absolute capability, shapes Pentagon planning and explains why both nations treat the threat as operational.